she had been isolated since she lost a lot of her vision about two or three years ago. Okay. And she kind of gave up. And she's just now, she moved in here. She's kind of getting her, her self-esteem and everything back. Yeah. Okay. So I made an arrangement to... Um, come here after the interview, you know, after I see what her strengths and her abilities are, um, I come over and then we're, we're going to walk to the bus and we're going to do that today. And I'll show you the things that we pointed out that work with her for getting to the bus. Yeah. But the main thing is when she, um, had her appointment, she almost didn't answer the door. Oh. She um, she was on the other side of the door and wasn't going to, I get emotional about it, but she wasn't going to open the door. And then she did, you know, she opened the door and that started everything. And after it was all over, she told me, says, she'll probably tell you the same things that she wasn't going to open the door because she really was frightened about it. Yeah. But, but after she rode one time, man, that lit a candle in her. And now we've done about four trips and she's learned how to do a lot of stuff on the bus that she never, ever thought that she'd be able to do. Okay. Finding out over there. Yeah. I have no time constraints. So, whatever you want to do, we'll do. Guess what I did over the weekend? What? I ordered myself a guitar. No! Yep, they're going to deliver it next Monday. What'd you get? An Amplifone uh, acoustic or so I went too far to the left. Yep. And, uh, so so it's the nice thing about yeah. this is the, it's the main traffic. And so, I can zero in on the sound. Yeah. And that helps a lot. I've ridden, the, I've ridden the bus systems over in Spokane and up in Seattle and down like in uh, around the San Diego area, down in Portland, Oregon. And this is the friendliest bus routes I've ever. My blindness is new to me. Oh. I, I've been dealing with this low of vision for about two years okay. but I've only came to actually accept it in like the last six months because I was in denial. Can I, I ask just, you about your, do you have like a degenerative eye condition or? No, what, I've had a lot of different things wrong with my vision but what has finally taken it is the glaucoma is killing my optic nerve. Oh, okay. So, but one of the first things I told Kurt was I really want my independence back because I was a very independent person before. Yeah. And he says, okay, well, let's work on that. And I actually feel like if I need to go to the store, I don't have to call Kurt and say, hey, I need to go to Safeway. I know I can get on the bus, find my way to Safeway, and actually get home. And yeah. I need one piece of my video. Yeah. Go ahead and you get on just only by yourself and then we'll get on after you. Okay. I, uh, just, I just... Route 47, Capital Medical Center, Capital Mall. You've got open right behind me. The first hall. Oh, well. Yeah. So there's a big No one getting off. We cleared the wrong way. Hi, Carmen. They're with me. It's the first time. We're just going to go like, I'm uh, just going to tell you, just like we normally Okay. For the rights and lefts. And Okay, so what we have is what I would do is the bus, the bus is going to be on the can you see the yellow? Right here. Uh -huh. Okay, let's follow just follow the yellow first and then I'll show you. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna follow the yellow and then there's gonna be a great piece of Just follow that one, just follow it. Go ahead and go and find that little groove in the sidewalk. Okay. And you're close to it, there's gonna be an echo. So that's gonna tell you that you're getting close to your bus stop. Because there's a long hallway that goes out to the buses.